were just on the ferry at somewhere um, going to Burano for the day. We're going to go to the Lagoon Islands. You're a bit far away from me. So we're going to go to the Lagoon Islands today. Um, we're going to go to Burano, then we're going to go to Murano, and then we're going to maybe look at go to Tisana. And um, so we're just getting on the number twelve, not far from our hotel. It's the Fort Nueva or uh, Islands in the Lake somewhere here as to where we actually are. Just so because this is the quickest way to get to Burano, and um, it's actually only going to take us about fifty minutes. Whereas if we went um, down in the main part of Venice, we'd have to take two ferries, which would take about two hours to get there. So that's not the right way. So we'll tell you the best way to get there when we get there. Make sure that it is only 45 minutes. So we're going to do a little bit of video montage and then we'll see you on the end. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the mundane. And as the light startled our eyes, we let go of the sky. Right, 93 percent chance of it not raining, and the wow. seven percent hit. <laughs> it was totally wrong, but it's, it's not raining, raining. It's raining. No, it's, raining. it's not raining, raining. It's quite, it's quite all right. Um, it's it's a bit drizzly, but we've just got here, so we're just gonna um, have a little wander around now. Um, it is actually starting to pick up on the rain, to be fair. Yeah, totally. Uh, um, so we're gonna have a nice little wander um, and see all these beautiful, colourful houses. This is probably quite. Oh, it's so, it, it is just gorgeous, though. It's literally one of the best places we've ever been, purely just because of all the architecture and character, and I don't know. We've just never been to Italy, so it's amazing for us. Honestly, so nice. It's very tranquil here though. It's quite peaceful, isn't it? I know. I want to see if we can like, all of Venice is really, really like zen. I mean, I think zen. it's the time of year that we've came, to be honest, because I don't think it's very zen in the summer. And um, we haven't had to wait for anything at all. I would really recommend coming now, definitely. And I can only imagine what it's like in the summer. I know I keep saying this, but I just kind of, it's so small, I feel, that it would be really annoying. But still. Honestly, I've got to say, I bet you the people of these places absolutely hate us all coming because of all the photographs. They're kind of intrusion, really. So I'm trying my best not to actually, you know, be too intrusive if I'm being around here. There's actually not that many people here, but I can, because of how small it is and how quaint and quiet it is, I can still imagine how annoying it is for all the actual permanent residents. Yeah, but and imagine in the summer. Oh my god. I bet you they want to push it all in the canal. <laughs> what? It looks like it's on a slant. I 
will be a different colour and everything. Well, did you know that this place is um, known for its lace? It's for its what? Lace? lace. I got that out of all the lace shops. All the lace shops. Murano for the glass, blown glass, and Burano for the lace. And for anyone that used to I was watch, like, um, there's another pearl there. Anyone used and to watch there's another pearl there. Vic and Bob. What? And um, Reeves and was it Vic and Bob like Reeves and Mortimer when they used to do Uvavu Iranu? Some people will understand that. Some people. Is that some relevance to where we are now? No relevance at all. No relevance. Just all right then. Used to have it. Yeah. TV a little sketch that sounded like Murano no, and Burano. Yeah, Vic and Reese was. And it was when it was <coughs> right and wrong. Uvavu, Iranu. It was funny as hell. George Dawes, what's his fault? That's <laughs> cut, I don't think it's funny as well. Shh. How cool are these? It's like steampunk masks. Again, you really don't want to, you kind of want to whisper. I'm just saying, you feel like you want to whisper. I mean, I don't know how big Biarano is. And whether or not we're gonna do it in two seconds. Just go for a nice little wonder. Not sure if you can see, but that blue building just there. That's it. The place you want to go to for the toilet. If you need to go to the toilet when you need Burano, because I don't think there's any toilets in any of the places that you go to for that reason. And just so you know, you do have to pay one euro fifty to use the toilet, but um, which obviously when you need it, it's absolutely fine, They're no problem. Clean, the, but they are really okay. clean. Um, and then also, there's a woman on the desk at the, at the entrance that will be able to give you change should you need it. Um, so it's quite easy to do. Um, and there's a pedal on the floor for the water. And just so you know, because we don't read signs clearly, um, there's a pedal on the floor that dispenses the tap. Didn't really use my phone in there for obvious reasons. Um, so I can't show you. But just so you know, when you're waving your hands underneath the tap for ages like I was, you're actually looking like a right idiot because on the floor there's a little foot pedal. Um, but yes, just thought I'd update you on that little thing because I was absolutely desperate. And it's located, that little blue house toilet area is located next to the church area. Next to the wonky steeple. The wonky steeple. I was calling it a spire and stuff earlier. I think it's a steeple. It's a steeple. Church. The, the clock rings from there. It looks like Assassin's Creed. It looks like Assassin's Creed apparently. But yes, so um, that's a donger now. But basically, um, it's okay next to there and there's some little WC signs on the floor for you to get towards it when you're near the church area. So... Top tip. See? Wonky. That's went on now. I feel because the audience is quite small caption here sometimes. Like some of the prices are a lot more expensive. Yeah, because they've like, got to try and get what No, no. So I've noticed that even like down to the magnets or whatever, in the actual Venice city, you can get like say five magnets for five euros. You can get five. For five euros you can only get two here and it's ten euros for five magnets so that's just an example and i saw a meal option we well, just passing by and but it was a michelin so that's the difference um that was like 30 dollars no sorry 30 euros just for a meal um which obviously is it's quite probably in respect to, to the fact that it's a michelin restaurant but still oh. This yeah, shop, the roof, th sorry, this you shop like smells absolutely divine. Obviously, all the things we're not allowed to have, though. 
Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Mark's just nearly bashed. A uh, lovely Venetian man with his um, camera regalia. We did, um, I did tell him to be careful. Yeah, but they're so gonna... quiet. I know. They're so quiet. And like, he, did, he didn't give us that much of a white bird. So as soon as I turned home, he was right in my chops. <laughs> If he's any shot, you're going to get a DGI out of the fit. <laughs> I've told him to be careful because he's going to get some over that. Because, wait a minute, look, can you see the stick length? It's not even all the way out. I feel like it's like an electronic lightsaber. It's not even all the way out. And I keep telling him, I was like, you can't be careful because you're going to knock somebody out with that. And he's just nearly did it. So. Yeah, I've got to be fair, the little filter on the end. So I'm, I'm sure he's um, the little filter pleased on the end about that. On. So <laughs> Mark's only bothered about his filter staying on. So, you know, <laughs> there's priorities there. Very tranquil here, though. It is. It's quite peaceful, isn't it? Yeah. Zen. I mean, I think zen. Time of year that we came, to be honest. Oh, I don't think it's very zen in the summer. Um, we haven't had for anything at all. We do recommend coming now. I think we've been lucky with the weather, though. We have been a bit lucky with the weather. You recorded down here. Yeah. See that, George? Just on the ferry now, going back to Murano um, area and back to where we started from. Um, I don't think we're going to go to Murano because it's not the nicest weather out here today, and I think unless you want to go for a bit of a glass blowing. Um, experience it's probably going to be quite the same um, I was told out of the two to go to Verano because of the colourful houses and whatever so I think we've had a few hours of Verano it's been quite cold it's been very gloomy and grey and I just don't think we're going to get the nicest of pictures if we do go to Verano and it's only a mile across but at least it gives us something to have a look at if we ever come back again um, which I'm sure we will do in the future so at least then if we ever do come in the summer we can go to Verano and Verano again um, and test it there so we're just on our way back now and um, back into Venice City and then we're gonna have a little um, wander around San Marco Square and go down maybe have a look at some of the museums as well today is all about being an absolute tourist so we're gonna go and do that now so we'll see you there
place here, sir? Nice to this bit. It is more touristy. So I think for that reason, there's a little bit more going on, but I think you have to have been in Burano, though. Yeah. That's probably why, but only because of, not because of the tourists. Um, it's because of the just things going on. It was too quiet, wasn't it? Oh, it was too, it was too quiet. It was weird. Just for us. Yeah, it was a bit too quiet for us. Which obviously is lovely to get away from it, but it was really quiet. from last night when we came when it was so nice and dark and empty and moody and almost like it was quite surreal yesterday it was, wasn't it, when we came it was quite surreal wasn't it i mean it's i mean it's brilliant to be able to see it in the daylight now and see what it's actually like and it's busy for the time well it is better to come at night time just for the atmosphere and, and the mood empty. there was hardly anybody here well, was hard. but you could hardly say anything either i mean but this place Honestly, it's just so grand and I'm going to see the same things the whole way through but it just really is so grand and beautiful, it really is. Um, I do think if you really want to experience it in a, just a totally different way, the night time last night it was just actually awe dropping because of this, the, 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 the fog that was in, um, I think it just added to that effect. Just with the, the gothic eeriness, it was honestly stunning, really really stunning. Um, and it's just, it's a nice buzz now, and I mean, I know it's busier, but in the summer, when it is like holds and holds and holds of crowds, I do think this would be a little bit overbearing with the amount of people that would be here, but it is stunning. 